episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. And I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at the Honest Trailer, Part 3 for Game of Thrones. So, um, yeah, they've done the last few volumes. I don't... Sorry we haven't seen them. Well, yeah, because uh, he, he was more of the fan at the time than I was. And then my father forced me to watch the last two seasons with him. And... I'm forcing him to watch this. So, no... I sent you the video. I sent you the video. I'm like, I ruined a good bit. Never mind. <laughs> no, but all seriousness, I saw season seven. I was like, cool. I can see why. I can understand why people watch this show. I see season eight and go, wow, that was a really good episode three. And then everything else felt like, god damn, I I can't imagine how how fans of this series felt. <laughs> god damn, I can't imagine. But that's all I gotta say about it. I don't. Yeah, this volume is dealing with seasons six through eight, pretty much. That's what it deals is dealing with the last three seasons. So see the last like two last two good seasons and the final not so good season that people are so complaining about. So let's dive right into this for Honest Trailers Game of Thrones volume trace. Game of fucking thrones. It was the highest rated show of its era. The most talked about pop culture event of the decade. And by the end of its final seasons, one of the biggest letdowns in... Let that question mark. ...all have Bran the Broken, protector of the realm. Oh. Game of oh. Thrones, season six through eight. <laughs> <laughs> on George R. R. Martin's doorstop novels returns, but since they already burned through those, they're going off an outline, and boy does it feel that way. We're after one mixed season that still pulled off some major highs. The last two short ones scramble to tie everything up real quick. Because the showrunners either got bored, burnt out, or bitter that no one liked their slavery idea. Featuring huge revelations Didn't that I? never really pay off. You're the true king, so our new king has chosen to send you to the Night's Watch. Relationships that took years to develop turning on a die. Stay with me. <laughs> and characters who straight up forgot their best friends, or forgot they had magic shape shifting powers, or forgot who they're at war with. Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. She forgot, forgot the biggest navy in Westeros existed? Admit it. This little show was an elaborate plot for you to meet Ed Sheeran. Woman, it's a pretty song. Winter has come to King's Landing, so they move the entire city to the desert. There, our main players will finally collide to see who will sit on the Iron Throne. Will the reign of Queen Cersei continue, or will she just stare out the window? A lot. A lot, apparently. It's a nice view that you have. Surgical attacks mm -hmm. against the ruling class, or will she 420 blaze the world when her nephew will give her the Dino War? I don't think I am. Will Jon Snow do anything? My watch is ended. I'm tired of fighting. I never wanted a crown. I don't want it. I never wanted it. I told you I don't want it. I don't want it. I never. I fucking no, hated that line from every all, time. It's the character with the best story. And who has a better story? Than Bran the Broken. Bran? <laughs> Bran? <laughs> Crazy ass kid? How about like literally anyone else? I love it. <laughs> Back in the character. Come to love and say hello to their one-dimensional look-alikes, like Ferris, but of the dick joke. If I lost my c I'd drink all the time. I don't think a c is a true qualification, as I'm sure you'd agree. You should consider yourself lucky. At least your balls are not freeze off because you have no c Little finger. Get it? He has no penis. Winterfell. Or the Arya Stark reunion tour. Lady Stark, you came home. You still love it. Needle. Hello, hot pot. I'm here. Uh, Lady Stark. Don't call me that. I just had you meet again. And here we are. You left me to die. First, I robbed you. While the shows were lively, great villains backslide from the Joffrey S. Ramsay Bolton to the mysterious Night King. 
who after all your fan theories, really was just some dude the Keeper Elf stabbed to a tree. To this soggy pickup artist who stole the dragon's plot armor for himself. I have to be honest, this is making me odd. Uh, what Tim Burton movie is this dork from? I think a dozen <laughs> I actually like, like them, to be honest. We are weak, vain creatures. We live only by the mother's flesh. Truly, everyone avails himself of our mother's flesh. I think a same movie. If we chose to come to the street of study, I'm still in the you have many miles to go. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> but screw characters, because Game of Thrones can still deliver some amazing visual spectacles. As soon as you remember how to crank the brightness on your TV, there uh -oh. we go. From the claustrophobic terror of the Battle of the Bastards, to the ground-level chaos of the Battle of King's Landing, to eight guys waiting for help on a frozen pond. Pretty much. We have to burn his body. Oh, now you use the fire sword. Rest assured that in later seasons, everything will look awesome, and no one you really care about is gonna die. That'll be fine. Yeah. Good as new. So lick your wounds for the show that managed to both limp and sprint to the finish line. <laughs> limp and sprint. Hold the door on giving it crap for not Hold the door. Gone. They can't please everybody. Or for characters teleporting around. They ought to converge at some point. Or even all the huge strategic blunders. The stakes aren't the same as potholes. No. Be grateful for a show that's given us the last communal experience in our divided world. Crapping on the final seasons of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Together. Uh, gonna miss you, dumb show. Oh, go on, get out of here. Come on, I don't need you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna watch the spinoffs. You crazy? Starring. Yeah. Hack Sparrow. A Lannister always looks on the bright side. I think we might live. <laughs> I do. Here's a help. Surely there's some good news lurking somewhere. You should both be happy as well. Thank you. I feel much better. Mortal stick fight! Yes, <laughs> queen. I am loyal to my queen. I am loyal to my queen. I obey my queen's commands. I kill the queen's enemies. The new prince of Dorne, I guess? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Snow. Harry Strickland? What kind of name is Harry Strickland in a fantasy world? Harry Strickland sells propane and propane <laughs> You might have seen him north of the wall. Give it up for Tormund Giant Bay. No, it's one of you cowards <laughs> in my pants. <laughs> I saw your pecker. What kind of god would have a pecker that small? You weigh as much as two fleas. Stay back, he's got blue eyes! I've always had blue, blue eyes! <laughs> <laughs> You're a lucky man. I like Tormund for Louis Oliver. Fan service. Thought you might still be rolling. Crap service. Yeah. <gasps> You're just gonna murder me on this murder show? <clears throat> <laughs> Shivers. Shivers. Cute. Some nice ships. Good boy. Who's a good boy? We never forget you, my little pup. Yeah. Less nudie than ever, but still. Tits. Lots and lots of tits and ass. ass. Oh, no one wants to see that. <laughs> or that. And definitely not that. We've known her since she was 14, you sickos. <laughs> trying to impress. You're impossible to impress dad. <laughs> I won't apologize for trying to rescue Theo. And where is he? Your best hunters. They obviously had help. Oh, daddy is she. She killed them all by herself. Managed to stay soft and fat. Spending your life reading about the achievements of better men. Do we have the yeah, he's doing what's the right! Yeah, I'm gone. 
Power on is gone. Do we have enough men? How many men do we have in the north to fight? Ten thousand. Do we have enough men? Fewer. We need every man we can get. We don't have the numbers. We don't have the numbers. We don't have the numbers. I don't have enough men. Don't have the men. You don't have the men. You said you don't have enough men. We need more men. We need more men. We need more men. We're lucky to have this many men. It's not enough. No, it's not enough. Everything characters have ever done wrong. I strangled my lover. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I betrayed my queen. I pushed a boy out of tower window. Crippled him for life. I strangled my cousin with my own hands. We burned her in the stake. She was good, she was kind, and you killed her! I made a terrible mistake. I made a mistake. A horrible mistake. I underestimated a stranger. You deserve that, apparently. I did unspeakable things. I love that. Oh, that. I killed him. Bye! Kid hair line. Kid hair Never gonna unsee that. A slog of ice and fire. Slog. I don't care how many people Danny lights on fire. The hound will always have the sickest burns. You're getting old today. He's not. <laughs> Thank you for he watching does. this yeah, video. He does. He has always the sickest but burns. But did you know we also make other videos with just one click? You could be watching one of those videos now. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold door. It's going to be legend. Wait for it. And I hope you're not lactose intolerant, because the second half of that word is dairy. Legendary. <laughs> Okay. So, so fight. They were mixed say, as well, pretty much. I sorry. My favorite part is when they choose Bran. He's like, Bran, Bran, are you so many other fucking characters? Are no, no, no. Stay in character. Stay in announcer mode. Stay. In it's like, he's like trying to compose himself. It's like, yeah. Honestly, what did you think of the last three seasons? I thought they were good, pretty much. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, season eight. Wasn't you know I'm not saying it was the best season pretty much I thought it was an all right season, um uh, I'm not saying for them to rewrite it, um you know I, I to me I I still feel like we're still gonna get uh, uh, more Game of Thrones at some point in the future but not prequel series I mean I'm talking about pretty much once he's ever gonna finish that damn book, it feels like we're gonna at some point get uh, a, a you know probably a ch proper true ending maybe. Um, sometime in the future, maybe or like a film, you know, on the who, final who knows, but like, but I, that's what I thought. There are things, despite me of only seeing season seven, eight, there's other things I agree with. Always talking about how many men they have. Fucking Johnson, not, quit bitching and moaning about not wanting the crown. Just not wanting it, not wanting it, not wanting it. I never asked for it. I never, never asked, asked for it. it. I never wanted it. I never wanted it. I never wanted it. Giving the um the crown of Bran, because I'm sitting here going. All I know about this dude is he just sits around a lot. Based on the two seasons I saw, why him again? Anybody? Anybody? Her Danny forgetting about the Iron Fleet. It's like how the fuck do you forget about King's Landing's biggest fucking army? <laughs> like a ship army. It's like how do you forget about the Iron Fleet? I actually like. What they called Hack Sparrow. I actually like that guy. I didn't know him. I didn't give a fuck about him. He just felt like he he was a reject from a pirates movie, you know? Yeah, it's like, and he was just still trying to find his way back into some type of form of leadership in a way. Hey, you know, a head honcho type of stuff. But like I said, everybody has their opinions. Everybody has their thoughts pretty much when it comes to these last, you know, these last three seasons, but also mainly the, you know, the la very last season of season eight. People have their opinions, but you know what? It is what it is. It's done. It's it's kaput pretty much. You know, until maybe in the distant future we'll get maybe another proper film, maybe a full on like Game of Thrones type of film to fully wrap it up the right way. Maybe off of one of those final books. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but overall, you know, I I, I enjoyed it. My, me and my wife enjoyed it. I, I got her into it. She loved it. She had a good time with it. Even she agreed that even though last season pretty much was not the greatest, it was just all right season. Yeah. You know, it wasn't the best. But again, everybody has their own opinion. I don't care if you guys, you know, you know, leave nasty comments. We don't care at this point because it's again. It's at this point. I no, think no, I'm, people I'm, would agree with us more than give us. No, 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 no. I'm just, I, well, I'm just saying, pretty much, because we you still have those, pretty much, that can argue for days on why they should do this or why should they do that. But I'm just stating, for us, pretty much, you know, that's what we thought. Again, in pretty much, you can put that whichever, whatever your thought is. If you enjoyed it, then so be. If you didn't, okay. 
Yeah. But like you said, honest trailers was it's just one of them pretty much. You can hear so they had likes and dislikes here yeah. and there in certain parts, but not everywhere, you know. So yeah. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about honest TV trailers, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you thought of this honest trailer overall. Did you agree with it? Do you think they missed a lot of parts, or do you think they should have, you know, they should have leaned back on certain parts for maybe certain characters or certain things or anything like that? Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Tormund sitcom-filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.